ranks up, but uh... in legend, the Vakiri are an army of the damned. Their return heralds the rise of their leader from the depths of Grithor. And if Mola returns to the realm of the living, he will rule an empire of blood for a thousand years. I did not Skelly. take such things seriously until a Skelly. Vakiri invader nearly killed me in battle. Amazing. Thank you very much. Attention. And Fugler, sir, I, intend I hope to make that them you enjoy it. the sub Speak to the law singers and are able to thank hall. Skelly for the gift that you've within the just received. Myths. Enjoy Perhaps the uh, what emotes. These demons and where they will strike next. <laughs> Right, so you need to speak to the law seekers outside for the next part of this mission. Right, what's the time? Well, we've got a little bit of time, so we'll do a little bit more. I've got a feeling this chain's a little bit longer, so there's a few. Serve the Empire well. Kapla! Destiny in progress is the what we're. Uh, pro Destiny is the mission that we're doing. Right. Okay, so purchase. Okay, so talk to the law uh, givers outside. They're the historians, if you like, and in Klingon culture, uh, the law seekers are uh, uh, the, uh, sorry, the law singers are really important people. Right. Tale. Do you wish to hear tales of the Empire? Tell me about the Fakiri. The Fakiri. Like many others, I thought they were the stuff of legends. That has changed. We all know the stories. How the Fakiri came forth from the darkest depths of Grethor itself to do the bidding of Molo. How they raised the land and how Kalis the Unforgettable put an end to their reign of terror. But now, I must wonder, are there truths hidden within the legends? For some time, there have been those among us who believe the Fakiri were more than a myth. It was not a popular belief. The discovery of the Sword of Kalis gave strength to those believers, however. For if the great weapon of the First Emperor was real, could not his great foes have been real as well? The invasion of this great city by the Fakiri Horde will no doubt give them even greater cause. We must study the Fakiri lore from the time of Kalis, only this time with a more open mind. My father, Tehran, is an expert on the sword of Kalis and the facts and fables that surround it. You would do well to speak with him on the matter. Very well. Thank you for your information, Law Singer. Hey, do you wish to hear tales of... Talk to the Law Singer Taran. Do you wish to hear a tale of Kalis? Continue. I weave tales of glory and honor. Tell me more about the Sword of Kalis. Ah, yes. Many Klingons turn their thoughts to the weapon of the First Emperor these days. A Fakiri invasion will do that, I suppose. Put simply, there is no greater weapon in our history. With the Sword of Kalis in my hand, I could face an entire fleet and win. And now, it seems we have need such a mighty blade. Continue. For some time, the monks of Borith safeguarded the weapon. Until the coming of the Herc several thousand years ago. They took the blade from us, and it was thought to be lost forever. There are some who say that Dahar, Master Kor, and Worf found the blade. And yet, when I speak of it to Worf, he turns away without a word. Hmm. The son of Moat is here now. He is a stubborn man, but he 
always strives to do the right thing for the Empire. And the Empire needs the Sword of Chaos now. Perhaps more than ever before. Ask him yourself. Perhaps you will succeed where I have failed. I will. Thank you for your time, Law Singer. I need tales of glory and honor. There is Worf, son of Morg. Jintok to the house of Martok. Greetings. How may I assist you? Fight with honor. There is a battle brewing on the horizon. You speak of the Fakiri. What do you know of the Fakiri? The Fakiri share many characteristics with our ancient enemies. However, one of the things I learned during my time in Starfleet was that things are not always as they seem. It may be that the true enemy is hiding behind legends until they choose to reveal themselves. What do you know about the Sword of Kalis? That is a task for the lore singers. Suffice it to say that it has power beyond that of a normal weapon. Not only can it rend flesh and bone, it can control hearts. To my regret, I found that I was not up to the task of being the sword's master. Tell me more. This is a story that I am loath to share without any reason. However, I know you to be honorable and a friend to the House of Martin. I do not believe you would ask without reason. I accompany Daha Master Kor and Jadzia Dax on a search for the Sword of Kalis. Kor had uncovered information during his time as a diplomat to Vulcan that he believed would lead us to the sword's location. He was correct. We found the sword on a Herc world in the Gamma Quadrant. Continue. The sword brought the dark sides of our natures to the surface. We argued over who was to keep the blade. I might have even done the unthinkable and killed for the blade, if Jadzia had not been there to stop me. Kor and I realized that the Sword of Kalos was too powerful for any man to wield. It had divided us. It would have divided the Klingon people as well. We agreed, for the good of the Empire, to transport the blade into deep space. If Emperor Kalos had not been successful, it would be there still. The Emperor has found his weapon. Where is he now? The Emperor contacted me recently. The course of his ship would put him in the Senex system now. Be wary. The Breen have overrun that system. Kalos is an inspiration to us all. But as a modern warrior, you may find that he needs assistance. However, if you seek the Sword of Kalos, you must find the Emperor. Understood. Hmm. It seems Chancellor Jimput wants a word. Report! What have you learned? They may be the Fakiri of legend, and the Sword of Kalos has been found by the Emperor himself. <laughs> I thought his obsession with the weapon was... risky. But I did not expect him to actually find it in the void of space. And so I agreed to his plan to search for the blade. I should have known better. He is Kalos. Achieving the impossible comes naturally to him. You sound disappointed, Chancellor. Surely this is a good thing for the Empire. It will not be a good thing if the Emperor's obsession with the relic gets him killed. Imperial intelligence has informed me that the Fakiri conducted several raids on classified data systems during the attack. They were particularly interested in intel on the weapon and the location of Kalos. If they aren't sending a fleet to intercept the Emperor, I'll eat a plate of cold dead gah. Ooh, that's a... that's... that's a lot. We must warn the Emperor. Agreed. Return to your ship and make your way to the Sanic system at maximum warp. Hopefully, you will make it there before the Vakiri. As you command, Chancellor. Beam up to your ship. It's maximum warp, we're told.
Coast laid in for the Sanex system. Warp to the Sanex system. of the destroyed Klingon fleet in the area, but there is one remaining ship. Trying to get a fix on it. It is the Emperor's ship! We are not too late. Attempting to hail them now! Continue. You've come to join the fight, have you? Good! There's no better companion in that than a Klingon warrior, you demons! I thought I had been the Empire of the Perot. Four of them are in the front of my position. Jim, would you set them up and get my ship back? Torpedoes are just unfair in these battles here for the in the story. We fight now uh, in your name, Kaithleth. Kupla. Right. We'll get that one too. Right, that sounds like it's a boarding action. More frigates inbound. Screen. You have fought well, warriors. There is more to be done, however. What do you require, my Emperor? The Fakiri managed to beam over several boarding parties during their last attack. I would be honored if you would join me in purging them from the decks of my vessel. It would be an honor to fight at your side, Emperor. Very well. Beam aboard with your best warriors and put an end to these dishonorable creatures. Kapla! Kapla! Beaming. Targeting in the area. Stay off. It's cold. Life support must be fatal. Picking up numerous for Kimmy life signs. It looks like they're targeting the crew, working in several critical areas. Trying to finish their job, the ship started most likely. Indeed. Let's deal with them first. Give the crew the space they need to repair the ship, and then head to the rings. Absolutely. Ready our, our weapons and prepare for battle.
Where are they? Don't want a triple. Get rid of you. Discard. Definitely don't want triples. Looks like we need to do some inventory. Right, there's some in here too. Turbolift engineering. Let's see if we can find an engineer. Life support and main power are on the verge of collapse, and we will need their help to stabilize those systems. Keep an eye on the Terrian. Looks like we found them. Let's just go to. Come down the main corridor to enter! Hold them at the entryway! 
Right, so we'll deploy them our team here. And that should Take the uh, honour of single combat and leave my, t uh, my crew to uh, be the blocking there, and they should be good at that. That's Captain uh, Kagan. Here they come again. Yeah, we are clear. And there's more. Chief Engineer, right? Team will hold the. the core is now back online and fully functional. Ship sensors indicate that the remaining Fakiri boarding parties are attempting to take the bridge. You must stop them from taking the ship and the Emperor. Continue. The bridge will not last long without our assistance. We must head there at once. Follow me, we'll protect the Emperor and die trying. Plow. Right, so we'll tell our team to regroup. Regroup the bridge officers. There we go. Let's go. Into the turbo lift to the bridge. Side by side, as warriors fall. Ha! I fought for Kiri thousands of years ago, and they have not grown any stronger. Crush the Fakir, drive them before you. Carry their limitations all the way back to Grethor. We defeated the Fakiri before, and we shall do so again. With honor! <laughs> A glorious fight! Come, I would speak with you, Warrior. Talk to Kalith. You are a stout warrior and a fine commander. Truly, you know what it means to be Klingon. Skelly, you're too kind. You're too kind. I'm going to be wrapping up very soon anyway. Uh, we haven't finished this little mini arc, but. Uh, I think we've come to an end of an episode. I think we're looking to end here anyway. Thank you very much for your gifts. Thank you for your kind words. And, um, yeah. I hope that I've helped you understand a little bit more about Star Trek as well. Uh, but it's been great having you here. And it's been great having the rest of you lurking as well. Uh, thank you for the follows. And... Great, thank you. You honour us, Kaleth. There will be time for songs of honour and blood wine later, warriors. Now, 
Now we must discuss the treachery of the Fakiri. Though we still live, the enemy has taken something most dear from us. The sacred blade I forged long ago in the fiery depths of Trista. Your weapon, the blade of Katha, paid us. The same. While we fought the Fakiri here, their fellows managed to breach the chamber where the blade was stored and escape before my warriors could stop them. To what end? Before you arrived, the jar taunted me with his plan. Unwise, but the Fakiri have always been arrogant braggarts and fools besides. They need to besiege the monastery on Borath and offer my weapon in ritual sacrifice to secure the rise of Molor from Grethel. There is no end to their dishonor. Indeed. For my part, I must go to Borath and put an end to this wickedness. I will not allow Molor to return, even if I have to kill every Fakiri in the galaxy to do so. Will you, will you join me in the fight against these demons? We will. Back to our ship. Speak to Jempok, and that Your should wrap up. Your report is disturbing. The Pakiri nearly killed Kalos and stole his blade. This must be avenged, and soon the people of the Empire must believe in the strength and honor of their Emperor. I am placing you under the direct command of Kalos. Do whatever is necessary to reclaim what was taken from him. If you can bring an end to the Pankeri, do so. War with the Federation is enough of a challenge. War with the hordes of Grethor may prove to be our undoing. Right. Shield arrays, photon torpedoes, we've already got something far better than that. Uh, shield. Spaces, we were okay on those as well, so. I'm gonna go with nanite reinforced circuitry. Collect reward. Serving every other way. 